Yes. Uh, <clears throat> now I have a pleasure to, <clears throat> to present the talk. Volodya Rubtsov, uh, uh, devoted to <laughs> conservation Buxtaber polynomials and many, many other different, very interesting subjects. <clears throat> Volodya, please, we can start. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you very much for your uh, invitation. It, it is always a pleasure, even virtually, uh, to, to be here uh, in, in Yaroslavl, uh, of course, to be here in, in, in presence is much better, but the, the life is complicated, you so you see. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry uh, that in, in spite of my solid age, I'm still absolutely unable to make a good choice for time uh, uh, preparing of my talks, so I'm unable to 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 put all things in uh, in one hour uh, talk, and uh, I, I will speak today only about one third part of what uh, I normally should uh, tell you, and this is the following uh, subject. Uh, it's a so-called Kantsevich uh, Buxtaber polynomials multiplication kernels and uh, Calabi-Yau differential operators. So there are, you see, there are slightly, uh, roughly speaking, there are three different uh, parts of the title, and uh, there are uh, three not very different, very close parts of uh, of the subject. Uh, historically, uh, so this uh, is a, a part of uh, two uh, papers in progress with uh, uh, Viktor Matvejevich Buxtaber and Ilya Gayur, and uh, Ilya Gayur, uh, he is postdoc in Toronto, uh, uh, and also Ilya Gayur and Duke van Straten from uh, University of Mainz in Germany. Uh, today I will speak mainly about our um, work with Buxtaber and uh, Ilya, uh, uh, about Kansevich and Buxtaber polynomials, but anyway, uh, I need to explain why uh, these three uh, different parts of my title uh, somehow relates one to another. So the the, the initial object of, of of my interest was, uh, uh, of course, uh, just uh, some uh, very interesting uh, uh, subject which uh, I'm I, I, I'm 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 unable to to discuss today. I wanted to understand. Uh, with uh, Vasily Goloshev and uh, Maxim Kansevich, Anton Melit and Duka Van Straten, and then Sasha Adeski also joined to this uh, discussion, and people uh, slightly separated. Uh, we, we discussed the uh, idea which Maxim uh, uh, wrote in his paper in Manifest uh, book, uh, about non-commutative uh, motives. And in this paper, he proposed some uh, interesting class uh, of polynomials, uh, which uh, are measured in some sense, the number of Hecke operators uh, acting on uh, automorphic forms uh, over uh, functional fields over finite uh, field of uh, prime uh, characteristic different from two. Uh, uh, Maxim uh, conjectured this formula. This formula uh, should be corrected slightly with uh, uh, corrected terms, but the general class of polynomials, Maxim uh, conjectured very, very uh, cleverly, and uh, it was it was interesting. It was interesting uh, just uh, to explain uh, the nature of these polynomials and somehow if they are. Uh, related to something uh, in other parts of mathematics. Indeed, as usually, uh, uh, all such ideas, they are much more uh, profound than initially suspected. And these polynomials appeared also in different, uh, uh, in different dressing, if you want, uh, in absolutely different uh, part of mathematics. But well, well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, could it be interpreted as a, some in look of a character for the KK algebra? This polynomial. No, no, no. It's this polynomial. They are just a uh, enumerative. Uh, um, it is just a tool to to because over uh, over uh, finite fields uh, the uh, KK operators they are expressed in terms of uh, finite size matrices, 
uh, elements of this matrix is uh, elements of this finite field. So you can, uh, roughly speaking, you can compute by uh, by hands the number of uh, possible uh, Hecke operators. The interesting thing is that they are still uh, 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 generate some algebra. It means that there are some structure constant and uh, the question of computation of this structure constant is exactly uh, 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 one of the main questions. It was, uh, uh, it goes back to Valody Drinfeld who asked his master's student to uh, solve this problem. And uh, uh, he had the brilliant master student. Unfortunately, uh, he was so br brilliant that he left mathematics and uh, started to study philosophy in Oxford. And now he is professor of philosophy in Oxford, no more mathematician. But he solved this master thesis uh, problem. And then Maxim uh, also, uh, after discussion with Drinfeld, he conjectured this uh, interesting formula. Uh, I will I will show you at the end, uh, the, the, when I will show you the polynomials, I, I, I will come back to this question. So uh, there is some um, zero level uh, background for, uh, for, for this uh, uh, subject. And this is so-called multiplication kernels. It is very uh, general and very simple uh, and very complicated uh, thing. Uh, you, you can just imagine that uh, it is some uh, situation you can imagine, you have a, a eigenvalue problem for some differential operator. Uh, I don't want to precise about uh, Hilbert space or about the uh, properties of this operator. Just imagine that you have a differential operator, you have eigenfunctions, and you have eigenvalues, which I denote as usually lambda. And you take eigenfunction, uh, big psi of x, with eigenvalue lambda. You compute this uh, function in two different points, x and y, and if you are able to uh, present this product at the integral of some cycle uh, of uh, the same function in the point z, and this z is a, a variable of integration, with some kernel, which depends now on three variables. Two variables are free, x and y, they, they are here. And z is a variable of integration. If you have this presentation, we will speak about uh, multiplication kernel that we will call this after Kantsevich multiplication kernel. Of course, uh, morally, morally, uh, very, very roughly, you can imagine this multiplication kernel like a, a con continuous analog of structure constant in some commutative algebra. So you have an algebra of these eigenfunctions. And then uh, what is in important that this kernel doesn't depend on lambda. It's in, it depends only on the function on this uh, uh, x and y and uh, property of these functions, but not on on, on the uh, uh, eigenvalue. This is the first object. The second object, interesting, but today I, I am unable to to discuss this in details. It is so-called Bessel-like equation. It's nth order equation, which is written in slightly uh, unusual form. Because uh, in uh, um, number theory, people uh, and the problem goes back also to number theory. Uh, they very often uh, uh, consider so-called uh, uh, logarithmic derivatives instead of uh, usual derivatives. So, in this logarithmic derivatives form, this n basal operator looks like this. Also, this operator is very well known because it is a, a operator which uh, appears under the name of quantum. Uh, Pn minus one uh, differential operators in uh, theory of uh, quantum cohomology in Dubrovin's Robinius manifold theory. So in 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 the mirror symmetry uh, behind of this uh, 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 behind of these uh, uh, structures uh, in, on um, uh, homogeneous uh, flags. Uh, these operators are known under quantum differential operators related to Pn minus 1. And you see, if you take the symbol of this operator, you immediately recognize the relation in quantum cohomology of the projective space of dimension n minus 1. But today, I will minimally speak about it, unfortunately. Now, uh, the main hero 
of today. It's so-called Buchstaber uh, <coughs> polynomials. <coughs> Buchstaber polynomials, it's a family of polynomials. Uh, from the very beginning, you don't uh, see something interesting in this. I used uh, notation in symmetric elementary symmetric functions, sigma one, sigma three, sigma two. So uh, these polynomials are completely invariant with respect to S3 uh, action. So uh, they are uh, polynomials of three variables, X, Y, Z, and they depend on three complex at the moment, co in any complex uh, numbers, A1, A2, A3. And they written in, in, such, in such a form. So of course you can write it also in terms of X, Y, Z if you explicitly write X plus Y plus Z, etc. But this form is not very uh, 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 unusual. This form is usual if you imagine some quadratic polynomial for which uh, this uh, expression is a second coefficient. And these expressions are first and uh, uh, third coefficient. So it's discriminant of some quadratic polynomial. I will uh, say that this polynomial is written in discriminant form. And then second polynomial, it's generalized Kantsevich polynomial, which is also three variables polynomial with three parameters, A, B, C. And it is also can be written in some uh, discriminant form. Namely, if you have a polynomial A plus sigma one as a first coefficient, sigma two minus B as a second coefficient and sigma three plus C as a third coefficient and take discriminant, then uh, this discriminant gives you polynomial which uh, depend on X, Y, Z and A, B, C. Of course, they are different because if you uh, compare two uh, polynomials, Buchstaber and Kantsevich, you uh, immediately uh, uh, recognize the Common degree of Buchstaber polynomials is six, and common degree of Kantsevich polynomials is four. But what is interesting that if you consider dependence of each polynomials on X, Y, and Z, then you will see that they depend on X, Y, and Z maximally in quadratic way. So you can write each polynomial as quadratic polynomial in Z, as quadratic polynomial in X, and as quadratic polynomial in Y. And as I told you, it, it will be the same expression because they are symmetrically invariant. The same is true for Kantsevich polynomial. Now, I didn't say you where this polynomial appears. I told you a little bit about Kantsevich. I didn't tell you about uh, Buchstaber, but I will say about it more later. I, uh, briefly, briefly, I can say that Buchstaber polynomials, they are govern uh, uh, all uh, structures of uh, two valued uh, groups of special type, which is called square module uh, two valued groups. And this polynomial Buchstaber discovered in his beautiful short paper in uh, 1990. Now, what's the connection between all these objects? So we have this Kantsevich generalized polynomial. We have this uh, Buchstaber. It is, uh, of course, uh, very uh, rough and uh, uh, approximative relations. But there is also common point between these polynomials. And this common point that they are discriminantly splitted. This is interesting because your seminar is a seminar uh, in integrable systems. And I want uh, to say uh, that uh, this discriminantly splitted property means that Buchstaber polynomial and Kantsevich polynomial they can be uh, uh, written as a as I told you in Z in X and and Y as a quadratic polynomial. So we can uh, compute discriminant by any variables, and here also discriminant in any uh, variables. It means consider it like a quadratic equation in X and Y and Z. And then uh, there is a function, which is a polynomial, F, such that discriminant 
uh, can be written. For example, if you take... But, but, Valody, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand what, what do you mean by the discriminant on three variables? No, no, it's... it's uh, I, I'm, I, I'm explaining. It is discriminant in uh, each... So take a polynomial uh, as a quadratic polynomial in X, and then we have discriminant, which is F of Y, F of Z. If you take a discriminant see, in Y, Thank you. you have I F see. of X, F of Z. And uh, in this case, uh, polynomials are called strongly splitted, discriminantly splitted polynomial. The common point for Buchstaber and Kansevich that they are both discriminantly splitted. It is uh, fantastic. They are both discriminantly splitted. Uh, and could you say what does it time. could you hmm? say what does it mean in terms of the uh, in terms group? of integrable systems no, no, it was discovered group. by it, it was discovered hmm? in terms of the formal group in, in, in terms of the formal group i will i will explain later this i will explain what i will not explain uh, in details how they uh, relate to integrable systems it is in, it is interesting because this is a, a uh, the the part of my my, my talk which uh, I didn't touch too much too, too much today, but maybe it, for you it it will be very interesting. Um, it was Valody Dragovich who discovered that if you have a, a, a discriminantly splitted polynomial, they are uh, uh, naturally appeared in the framework of uh, generalized uh, Kovalevska top uh, integrability. Uh, Dragovich very cleverly uh, geometrically interpreted a pair of conic uh, and the change of uh, variables for uh, Kovalevska uh, system uh, related to this pair of conic and discovered that uh, the spectral curve of uh, uh, Kovalevska uh, top uh, has very uh, simple and very nice algebraic property. And this algebraic property intimately uh, related to this property of to be discriminantly split. It is a whole a theory, but it is interesting. It means, in fact, that both families of polynomials, uh, they are related to some generalized Kovalevska type integrable systems, which nobody studied, by the way. Uh, it's a good, uh, good question for, for thesis, for example, if uh, someone interested in it. Uh, what kind of integrable systems of Kovalevska type are behind of this uh, Kansevich and Buchstaber polynomials. And there is also a very interesting and very uh, important uh, link. Uh, they are related to so-called two-valid group structures. And this uh, uh, I will uh, explain more or less uh, uh, today. Also, probably it, 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 is, it is interesting to, uh, to say how they relate to this uh, multiplication kernel, which I said, and they are related through so-called generalized shift operators, because both families of polynomials, they can be considered like a kernel for some uh, operators, and these operators are very closely to uh, so-called Delsart, Levitan, uh, Gilfan, Greif, uh, generalized shift operators. Uh, operators which uh, act on uh, sp spherical uh, functions uh, uh, on the homogeneous uh, spaces, so-called Gilfand pair type. So this is uh, uh, what I, I spent a lot of time to explain. Uh, also, this uh, multiplication property relates to Clausen duplication formula for a hypergeometric function. This is how very famous in number theory and in classical analysis uh, relation. Uh, if you take uh, Gauss uh, hypergeometry, then a square of Gauss hypergeometry can be expressed in terms of generalized hypergeometric function with uh, uh, three uh, Pochheimer symbols uh, up two and two Pachheimer symbols down. And uh, uh, how it relates to uh, my question, if I take the de degeneration of this, I will consider degenerate hypergeometry uh, zero one function. This is a beautiful function. 
and the beautiful formula of multiplication in two different points x and y. This is exactly uh, the simplest example of my uh, multiplication kernel case. This multiplication kernel beautifully relates to the same class of function, but instead of arguments nx over 2 and y over 2, here we have a kind of scale, scalar product. And the integral, it is integral over n minus 1 dimensional sphere in Euclidean space. And this multiplication interprets like a homogeneous commutative uh, co-multiplication in uh, invariant functions on R to N. R to N here, it is, in fact, you should think about it like, uh, you should think about it uh, like a Gelfand uh, symmetric space or Gelfand pair, trivial Gelfand pair with respect to this uh, orthogonal group uh, action. Of course, Schlafly, who proved these formulas uh, in 19th century, he didn't know it. And then, <laughs> Dima, uh, you ask very nice uh, question about characters. In fact, this is no nothing but the... Um, uh, reflection of products uh, of, uh, of characters for hypergroups uh, which are behind of this shift operator theory. So you have a, a characters of hypergroups and uh, this formula it is uh, uh, can be interpreted in terms of product of characters. This is, you are right. And also this is a simplest example of two-valued uh, formal group, cyclic formal group, but only if the parameter n is equal to 1. It means if this function is really uh, a simple uh, uh, function with 1 uh, uh, in Pachheimer uh, uh, on, on the downstep. And this can be written also in the form of classical Sonian Gegenbauer. So you have now Bessel function, and it is very, very close to Bessel. I, I will uh, show you maybe if I have time. Uh, so you, you have a Bessel with uh, zero, uh, index zero, and products of two Bessel functions can be expressed as integral of a third one with measure ZDZ divided by algebraic uh, expression, square root of this uh, quartic symmetric expression. Uh, originally, Sonnen and Gegenbauer wrote this uh, integral not in terms of quartic, but in terms of quadric. And uh, it is just a change of variables which simplify the measure as well. But uh, uh, <clears throat> if you take real Bessel, uh, you should write it in this form. And finally, why uh, always this relates to Konsevich? Because in number theory, uh, there is so-called uh, eigenvalue problem for uh, APERI uh, differential operator or D2 equation. And this uh, operation uh, operator of second order, which uh, constructs in the following way. Let's consider this cubic with a uh, uh, free term equal to zero. And put this cubic between two derivations, just two derivations, DT uh, uh, left, DT right and take this eigenvalue problem for this operator. Then solutions of these problems, let's denote it by small phi uh, lambda, they also admit beautiful multiplication uh, kernel structure. And this multiplication kernel structure is one over square root of Konsevich polynomial from which I start uh, uh, my story. If you write this di di discriminant, for this cubic minus factorized cubic, the t cube will disappear. You obtain t square as a principal degree in this polynomial. And discriminant of this quadratic polynomial in t gives you a function in x, y, z, and this function will be Konsevich polynomial with special choice of coefficients. Generalized Konsevich polynomial contains all coefficients in front of a square uh, t and zero, but here it is. Uh, uh, and in the question of Heike operators, which Konsevich started with, it is exactly this polynomial uh, which he used. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I missed uh, how, how phi is related with psi 
or how phi no, psi, is... Is, psi is is just unknown function and uh -huh. if you take a solution psi equal to phi lambda uh -huh. it, uh -huh. this is okay, just okay. a, a okay. eigenvalue problem and this is the solution of this problem okay you think so so it, it's uh, for, for those who know it, it is a kind of Hoyne equation just special Hoyne equation uh, so may I just comment a bit sorry I may I just comment a, a small thing so okay. phi is not just a solution but this is a solution which is analytical at zero so this equation d2 has uh, a pole at zero and it has two solutions <laughs> so yeah, one of the solutions Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, okay, sorry. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, yes, of course, because uh, I, I, want, I want to miss all st story about uh, Bessel and about uh, uh, mirror symmetry. So it, it means that I, I will miss all, uh, I, I will omit all things about analyticity, logarithmicity, uh, maximal unipotent monodromy, all this beautiful story will be behind of this. Okay, anyway. So uh, the, I told you the origins uh, of, of all this story, but uh, uh, I will want to mention uh, just personally that uh, why uh, I was interested in this, because Ma Maxim uh, in 2011 just told me that probably uh, what we did with uh, Benjamin uh, in, in our paper in 2002 about quantization of baville mukai uh, uh, integrable systems, uh, it, it 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 should be uh, useful to understand how this uh, uh, problem of uh, kernels and the multiplication uh, uh, kernels uh, can be uh, uh, tried to attack, and uh, uh, that's why uh, I started to, to to think about and to discuss uh, with Vasily, uh, Anton, uh, Duka, and then Ilya uh, joined. Uh, uh, thank you, Ilya, for your help. Uh, unfortunately, this is not uh, the time to 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 say how this relates uh, to uh, multiplication uh, kernel problems. But I want to say that it it relates to the problem not with one uh, uh, eigen uh, value or accessory parameter in this terminology. In, in the case, uh, if if we consider many accessory parameters, if we consider a problem with many uh, 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 lambdas, then uh, it, it it might be uh, uh, directly related for uh, some sp for some simple uh, Garnier type uh, problem, if you want uh, to Baville Mukai rational Baville Mukai. Okay, so uh, literature. I, I I have no time at the end to to speak about literature, so I'll speak about about uh, literature from the very beginning. So just a good uh, introduction in uh, all this stuff uh, of products uh, of uh, Bessel functions and products of uh, hypergeometric functions. It's a, a Watson classical book. Uh, very nice and very uh, well-written book of Naum Yakov Vilenkin about special functions and group representation where uh, geometric interpretation of this uh, uh, Sonnen Gegenbauer formula uh, can be uh, found, and all other interesting uh, product formulas for special functions, which are uh, degenerations and partial case of orthogonal uh, polynomials of Laguerre and Legendre type, also uh, in this book. Uh, I didn't say today uh, about a series of uh, very, very important papers of Ettingo, Frankel, and Kajdan, because I didn't uh, speak about Lenglens seriously. But uh, what they did, they uh, put uh, Kansevich uh, observation and conjecture uh, in the case of, uh, say, uh, uh, field of, of complex uh, uh, numbers and real numbers, and, uh, uh, and also in the case of non-Archimedean uh, field, they put on the uh, serious analytical base, they constructed uh, corresponding to, uh, to this multiplication uh, uh, formula, uh, Kilbert space, they constructed 
uh, st strongly uh, uh, and very, very carefully, all uh, mm, uh, kernels describe the, uh, their property. They prove if, the, if it is need a trace class for this uh, uh, oper operators, uh, Hilbert Schmidt property, and so on. And they, then they uh, put it in the framework of uh, so-called analytic lens correspondence, which, uh, of course, in the case of the curves, also like uh, Kantsevich and Drinfeld uh, started over a uh, functional field. Well, also the paper of, with Vasily, Anton, and uh, Duko, it was uh, uh, also uh, some uh, uh, short uh, I would say ideological paper not uh, yet published because the pa pa all parts of this uh, paper now uh, are trying to be uh, uploaded uh, in different uh, groups by in in different directions. But uh, on, on archive you can find uh, uh, this uh, uh, paper with uh, uh, some. Uh, common uh, idea that uh, instead of uh, starting uh, this Lenglen's story of uh, Drinfield and Kansevich, one can start with classical Abel uh, theorem and Abel uh, uh, multiplication uh, um, uh, <clears throat> representation. And uh, trying to generalize this Abel uh, theorem, we uh, obtain in, in different special cases, for example, this uh, multiplication formulas of uh, Kansevich type for Aperi or uh, in the generation, this uh, Bessel uh, uh, product uh, for Sonian Gigenbauer. Uh, very, very important paper of Kansevich and Sasha Adesky, where they gave uh, a philosophy of multiplication kernels on uh, a computational basis, and they compute uh, many, many interesting and important multiplication uh, uh, kernels and formulas. And two papers which are still uh, should be written, they are in progress. Uh, one paper with Ilya and Dukov and Stratton about what I will not speak today, unfortunately, and the second paper about what I will speak today, it means about uh, discriminantly split polynomials to valid groups and conservative multiplication formulas. Uh, maybe the title will be changed, but uh, roughly I will speak today about this. Okay, so uh, I go to uh, just uh, example, because this example uh, I, I need because uh, if you want me to ask what the, the multiplication formula in this guise, uh, I will take the so-called one basal operator. And this one basal operator, it is just uh, uh, the uh, uh, operator x d over dx. And the eigenvalue for this operator gives you uh, elementary solution. It's exponential. And then you see that exponential immediately gives the interpretation of product of two exponential in integral form with delta function type kernel, or this delta function type kernel uh, by Cauchy formula can be uh, written in, in the form with a rational kernel uh, in Z, X, and Y. And this, the first elementary and trivial uh, Cauchy uh, uh, formula uh, uh, trick. And Ilya uh, uh, computed uh, many, many in interesting uh, uh, kernels using, using just simple Cauchy uh, formula for, for the case of uh, while uh, algebra uh, um, behind of this. So it's a for, for, for for differential uh, uh, operators uh, of uh, with one variable. To Bessie, it is also in, in interesting and important because it relates to uh, Buchsteiber and Kansevich. To Bessie, it, it is it is not classically. Uh, 
two basic. It is not really a basic, but it is very close to a classical basic. In fact, uh, if you want to go to modif modified basic equation, you just need to make a change of variables instead of x. Uh, you consider square root of uh, x, and if you take parameter lambda, you put this parameter under the square root and multiply by two. After this change of variables, modified basic e uh, with index zero uh, gives you the function, which is our uh, now famous degeneration confluent hypergeometry with parameter one here and with the argument lambda x. And it is written in beautiful and simple uh, series, series uh, with uh, coefficients lambda to n over n factorial uh, in square. And applic ap apply this to uh, multiplication form, you obtain the Sonnen Gegenbauer without z and square root of a quadratic symmetric uh, expression. This quadratic symmetric expression is uh, um, future uh, two valued group law uh, of Buchstaber type, as, as you will see. But uh, uh, for, for our interest, we uh, uh, ca ca consider the differential equation to which this kernel k, which is one over square root of this conic, satisfy. And this uh, is very uh, simple first order equation, whose first uh, coefficient in front of d over dx exactly this uh, uh, expression under the square root. So this singularity locus for this, when you uh, have this x square plus y square plus z square, and cetera, equal to zero. This is exactly the locus, singularity locus, which uh, corresponds to the uh, two-valued group law uh, uh, of uh, uh, Buchstaber, uh, which he considered in, in his paper with uh, Elmer Rees in 1906. And it is the simplest law on C uh, over Z2. So it's an uh, example of a uh, two-valued group on uh, C quotient by Z2. Okay, uh, so I will uh, go further and uh, just say that uh, similarly, you can uh, work with N Bessel and you can write this similar product for a uh, solution of uh, this uh, Bessel. Uh, as Ilya uh, cleverly remarked, uh, this solution should be uh, 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 analytic. It, it, it is only one uh, uh, analytic solution. And uh, it, it relates uh, to the story of mirror symmetry, which uh, I will not uh, tell you today. I have no time to, to speak about. But I will speak about uh, this um, polynomial. And you remember that this polynomial, which I called uh, uh, two, two Bessel uh, type or Sonnen uh, Gegenbauer type uh, um, kernel, which is under the square root of, you can uh, write this polynomial and the corresponding uh, locus. If you go back to coordinates with degree four, replace x, y, and z by u square, v square, and w square, you obtain that this uh, polynomial factorized in very, very uh, nice way. And this factorization, it's very geometrically uh, looks, it, it looks like uh, the formula for uh, air of triangle with lengths uh, u, v, and w of their uh, 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 edges. So you have a so-called Heron formula in square up to coefficient 16. And this means that in a projective plane, you have the following configuration. You have this uh, conic and this conic touch the uh, x uh, equal to zero, y equal to zero, and z equal to zero uh, lines in the midpoints. Uh, the natural question, what's happened when n any, not two, but any? So we have a family, in fact, of uh, 
uh, polynomials. These polynomials, which are uh, polynomials which relate to this uh, kernel representation, to this H uh, uh, kernel representation. And then these polynomials, they, if you write it in coordinates x, y, z, then they start with x to n plus y to n plus z to n. And then you can put, uh, again, the coordinates u, v, and w in degree n. And then uh, one can prove uh, that uh, this uh, polynomial can be factorized over the lattice with uh, nth root of unity as a coefficients. And it is interesting that if you write the uh, polynomials in explicit form for n equal to two, you see it was conic, and for cubic n equal to three, n equal to four, etc., you obtain the polynomials which uh, govern similarly to n equal to two. I told you that for n equal to two, you have a, a group, you have uh, for n equal to two, I will write you because it's interesting. For n equal to two, this polynomial, which you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus two x y minus two y z minus two x z, this polynomial can be written in, in this uh, form as a z minus square root of x plus square root of y square z minus square root of x minus square root of y square. And this, uh, it means that uh, this uh, quadratic polynomial in z, say, gives you the law of two value groups, which is given by the roots of this polynomial. The same story uh, is true for uh, for these polynomials, for any n, Buchstaber and Ries, they wrote all polynomials which are described not to a valued group, but n valued group. And, and the laws of this group, they defined by roots of the, their polynomials. For n equal to three, you have three roots, and you have polynomial x plus y plus z cube minus 27xyz. I, I remember it by, by heart. Of course, for n equal to four, I don't remember it. But anyway, it is, uh, uh, it is interesting that this uh, singular locus of, of the corresponding d module to uh, our kernel uh, relates to uh, n-valued uh, groups of Buchstaber rays. Okay, then uh, I uh, stop uh, to to speak about. Uh, oh, oh, just 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 uh, yes. maybe stupid question. Okay. Uh, is there some uh, peculiarity for n equal three because of the coincidence of the dimension and the degree? What what do you mean? For n equal three. Yes, is some subtleties in this construct. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what co coincidence. Coincidence uh, of the what? dimension, the dimension of uh, of the space x, y, and z. No, but uh, all these polynomials of Buchstaber uh, uh, yes, and yes, uh, yes. Uh -huh. and Ries, they are all uh, they are all polynomials of x, y, z. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't matter. No, no, no. You see, it, it, it is all these polynomials, they are polynomials of three dimensions. Well, uh, uh, peculiarity of n equal to three, probably, uh, yes, for, probably. Uh, I don't know. Ilya, do, do, do we have some peculiarity for n equal to three? Well, I don't think so. I mean, no. the. <laughs> No. I think it, 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 the, 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 these kernels and the singularity locus, they have some common 
properties, but there is no something special about some cases. At no, least no, no. we didn't it, look into it. Is. It, it you see this this expression for n equal equal, equal to it exists in our uh, textbook in analytic geometry for the first uh, uh, year students so it is a question why it is a uh, uh, co co cone uh, and the cone uh, the rotation cone so it's the the same configuration and the uh, 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 the method to prove it is to use the symmetry which is the three and which is not uh, natural for the equation of degree two. But maybe it uh, doesn't uh, relevant to this construction. No, no, the only thing which is relevant that all these polynomials, they are uh, uh, S3 invariant, you see? Look, look this n equal to three, look at n equal to two. And if you look n equal to four, which I, I, I didn't put here because I, uh, I, I had no time to speak, about it, but it, they are all symmetric. With, they are all uh, they have symmetry uh, with with respect to uh, S three. Okay, so then uh, I I just want to uh, to probably to to tell you the following story that uh, these polynomials uh, of kernel kernel uh, kernel polynomials they also can be interpreted uh, with with the help of uh, with the help of uh, Cauchy type or better say Poincare residue type formula as a period function for some uh, family of hypersurfaces of toric type in uh, uh, in this space. Uh, so you have this uh, toric space, a toric type hypersurfaces in C star two uh, n minus one, which is given by Laurent polynomial with respect to uh, big X and uh, the uh, parameter T uh, is here uh, in the denominator. If you uh, uh, compute this like a function of T, you obtain uh, uh, just a, a solution of our uh, equation uh, uh, N, uh, N basal or N uh, and it is interesting to 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 see that uh, when this hypersurface defined uh, defined uh, uh, really Calabi-Yau uh, uh, compactification, and this uh, is by battery of theorem, uh, this is true if the corresponding Newton polytope for for this W uh, superpotential, like people say in this story, if it is reflexive. So uh, what uh, is happened for n equal to three uh, as uh, uh, a uh, very very beautifully uh, 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 computed and uh, 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 draw uh, for uh, our uh, help. So you have for n equal to three. It means that you consider this uh, C star uh, two, and you have the corresponding uh, pair of Newton. Polytops, they are here, and they are uh, correspond to a uh, pair of uh, Gerenstein type toric fan varieties. And by battery theorem, uh, it is a, uh, admit it is this, this pair admit a compactification uh, to a pair of Calabi-Yau, which gives you the mirror pair in this interpretation. But it is. Then I split, skip all this uh, uh, interesting uh, combinatoric story and go to uh, uh, relations with uh, 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 two-valued groups and the uh, relation between Konsevich and Buchstaber polynomial. So uh, that uh, this story of uh, multiplication formula should have uh, somehow relate to uh, uh, Abel uh, law on elliptic curve. It, of course, it goes back to simple uh, multiplication theorems uh, in classical analysis. This is a, just a uh, addition of logarithm corresponding the product of argument of logarithm. Here, this is the uh, 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 arc sine uh, arc, arc sine function uh, uh, addition. Here corresponds to this uh, 
uh, formula for uh, arc sine z, uh, it is just from um, trigonometric addition theorem. And the elliptic addition, the most interesting, uh, is interpreted like uh, uh, Euler um, computation of Lemniscat arc lengths with the help of this uh, square of 1 minus T4 in uh, denominators. And this addition law uh, also relates to uh, addition law of uh, elliptic functions. But it, it is, a, uh, at the moment, a part of my uh, talk. But uh, one can be interpreted also like a beautiful uh, um, polynomial uh, which corresponds to this uh, addition law. Like uh, you see, all Buchstader polynomials, say, they are of this type. So uh, the simplest addition law on the curves, of course, it's addition on elliptic curve, and you, uh, you know it from your course. And uh, you can interpret this uh, also uh, as Abel did it. And instead of uh, addition of uh, points on the elliptic curve, you can consider, uh, uh, of course, uh, solution of differential equation of this uh, uh, differential uh, equation for, for, for elliptic curve with a one zero holomorphic uh, form. And then uh, exponential solution for this equation and addition for this uh, exponential gives you uh, interpretation of uh, addition theorem on the curve, like a product of this uh, uh, solution in points P1 and P2. You see, it gives you this solution in the point Q1. Abel very cleverly generalized it for hyperelliptic curve, and he uh, reduced number of uh, integrals. If you take a rational uh, differential, then you uh, can uh, reduce the number of integrals of, of this uh, rational differential from 0 to x1, from 0 to xn, to uh, p integrals when p is uh, many uh, many uh, uh, very very uh, small with respect to n uh, but of course you have some correction this correction is uh, holomorphic or rational or logarithm function simple function and this of course admit uh, the following generalization instead of linear bundle you can consider uh, uh, of course differential equation uh, for, uh, so in a billion case, it is still a linear bundle. You have this uh, equation and interpret Abel theorem uh, as we interpret it in, uh, in the case of uh, elliptic curve. Now in any curve, we have this product of solutions in endpoints in terms of integral of products of the solution in P points with some kernel. Uh, with measure uh, uh, dy dp. And of course, uh, we now can do the following step. The following step go to uh, non abelian uh, uh, generalization. Non abelian generalization means that we, instead of aligned bundles, will consider the vector bundles. And instead of first order equation, we will consider nth order equation. So we exactly obtain situation uh, from which. Uh, I have started. We have eigen uh, problem with operator uh, L uh, uh, over uh, in, in X of uh, acting on Psi with eigenvalue lambda. And this lambda, uh, as I told you, uh, people call it accessory parameter. It means that uh, as local monodromy is independent uh, on, on this uh, lambda. And what we want, we want to study uh, the formulas or, uh, for analytic uh, solutions with uh, polynomial coefficients such that the product of two, two, two such solutions can be written in the form of uh, integral with kernel k. Uh, Adeski and Kansevich 
very uh, uh, easily expressed uh, the following uh, re recipe how to uh, uh, get this uh, kernel. If you have uh, polynomials uh, in lambda, such that each polynomial has a, a degree which corresponds to it, its index, for example, P0 is 1, P2 is uh, P2, it's, it's P, 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 P1, it's degree one, linear, and then square, and so on. Then we can uh, define the uh, structure of associative algebra for uh, these polynomials, so the product of Pi, Pj, with uh, structure constant Cijk, and generating function for uh, uh, this uh, polynomial like coefficients, uh, which start which is starts with uh, with one, gives the following uh, answer for uh, uh, the kernel. We can compute uh, kernel in the following form, and then the product of two generation function, I mean product of generation function in two different points, gives you uh, uh, integral of this differential. Of this differential form uh, times uh, f lambda of z, and uh, as I told you, this uh, uh, approach can be generalized for for from one accessory parameter to any, and then it, it will relates for proper uh, uh, proper case. It will relates to uh, our uh, construction with Benjamin. Well. So, so then uh, I, I want to say again that I, I miss, uh, I should miss this. And then I, I want to remind you uh, the construction of Buchstaber, uh, why it relates to what I told. So uh, what is a two-valued two formal group law? Let's consider a, a, any um, uh, commutative uh, ring R. It might be Z, R, C, or maybe even polynomial uh, over Z, R, C. And then uh, let's consider a formal series in two variables, U and V, and consider the equation W equal to phi of U, V. Then we say that it is a, a classical formal group law over R. If uh, this phi in zero starts with U, as a function of u, and it satisfies to so-called associativity condition. It means if you put uh, the series uh, phi v w in the second place in phi u instead of v in the right-hand side, uh, it will be the same in the, if you put the series phi u v in the first uh, left-hand side, and it, it will be the same uh, series. And then Buchstaber considered uh, the following construction. Of course, it was after many years of studies, uh, these formal uh, uh, groups uh, appeared very naturally in studies of topological um, uh, spectra of na natural uh, multiplicative structures in usual uh, cohomology, in K theory, in the, uh, other uh, generalized uh, 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 cohomology uh, uh, theories. Uh, finally, uh, the most uh, interesting construction to our story is the following. Let's uh, consider the equation given by this uh, polynomial uh, in uh, Z order two, where coefficients uh, of these polynomials uh, theta 1, theta 2 are uh, some uh, formal series. And then uh, we suppose that uh, there are uh, z plus and z minus, which are uh, formal roots of this square uh, uh, quadratic equation, z plus and z minus. So these coefficients can be written as a sum and as the product of these uh, uh, roots. And uh, these roots are expressed in terms of some uh, another formal group, big phi, as a 
module square. So it's a square module uh, construction. Z plus it's a product of phi in UV and phi U bar V bar with conjugation. So it's a square square module of phi UV. And Z minus, uh, we suppose that we, uh, we are just for simplicity, we are over C. And then Z minus, it is also in some sense a uh, square module, but of phi U bar V. And phi in its own term, it is uh, some original formal group. So we consider this construction of formal group starting from uh, initial formal group. And then uh, Buchstaber proved the following. Uh, if we take the simple, simplest possible formal uh, group phi, which uh, is u defined by u plus v, then this uh, group, uh, as people uh, knew since 70s, connected with uh, uh, structure, uh, multiplicative structures and cohomology theory, then this uh, square module group defined by the polynomial O, and we know this polynomial. This polynomial is exactly uh, the polynomial which appeared as a zero locus for uh, Sonnen Gegenbauer or just for this Bessel story. And it was the first example uh, uh, which Buchstaber and Novikov considered in 71. Uh, the next interesting uh, example is when you take u plus v minus q u uh, v, where q is a, a complex uh, parameter. Uh, this uh, formal group corresponds, uh, as people knew again, in topology, it corresponds to the usual k theory spectrum. But if you write uh, this uh, story of formal group which corresponds to square module, then you obtain a cubic uh, expression, sum of three squares, pairwise product, and this term q square xyz. And this is a Another uh, locus, at this locus, uh, geometrically, it is a, a Kelly nodal cubic surface. And the next question, uh, what we say about uh, general uh, construction of such uh, square module uh, formal groups. Then Buchstaber, in, as I told you, in, in 1990, uh, proved the following uh, beautiful theorem. He said that there is a family of polynomials in X, Y, Z, which depend on three parameters, A1, A2, A3, and which looks like a discriminant of some quadratic polynomial. Uh, so it is, it, you remember, in my first pa page, it appeared with sigma 1, sigma 3, sigma 2, plus sigma uh, 3. And uh, Buchstaber, uh, discovered that uh, this polynomial defines a square modules group, formal group law, if these parameters A1, A2, A3, they uh, are relates to uh, some uh, elliptic curve in which transform uh, written uh, as, as usual with modular parameters G2, G3, and parameters A1, A2, A3, they expressed uh, uh, as a P function A1 times 3 in some point alpha on, on this curve. A2, like 3 P function square minus G2 over 4. And A3, like 1, 4, 4 times uh, P alpha cube minus G2 P alpha minus G3. So, uh, if we have this uh, uh, relation, then this uh, polynomial defines a elliptic uh, modular square formal group. And many, many, tw 20 years later, 20 years later in 2019, Buchstaber and Sasha Vyselov proved uh, even more interesting uh, result. They considered this uh, discriminant locus of Buchstaber uh, polynomial, which govern this 
story. It means that behind there is this uh, uh, point alpha on elliptic curve, and uh, this point uh, alpha defines p alpha and uh, all other parameters a1, a2, a3. And then if you take the uh, inverse transformation, so introduce coordinates big X, big Y, big Z, which relates to our small coordinates in Buchstaber polynomial like this, then the uh, addition law in terms of X, Y, and Z, and this addition law, it's very simple. It's X plus minus Y plus minus Z equal to zero. Corresponds to the Virchow's function addition law for P. So it's P U plus V equal P of U plus P of V plus one over four P prime of U minus P prime of V divided by P of U minus P of V in square. And this addition law, after this transformation, it is exactly this. To prove it, it's not uh, so evident. Uh, it was proven, in fact, in 19th century by, by Burnside, this famous Burnside uh, in, in group theory. Uh, it was his student, I would say, student work, and he uh, introduced very clever demonstration how these two addition laws uh, expressed, one in, in another. But Buchstaber and Vyselov, I suppose that they uh, didn't know this. They just knew interpretation of Burnside uh, proof uh, in the Whitaker and Watson, where it, it is uh, uh, gives you like a, an exercise. Okay, now how it relates to our story with kernel. The story is, uh, as, as we, uh, before we saw it, but very uh, briefly in the case of uh, this apiree, and now we take generalized Kantsevich polynomial. We write it explicitly. You remember that Kantsevich polynomial, it is just difference of this two cubic. One, it is general cubic with ABC minus factorized cubic. So if you write, you obtain a not very nice expression, by the way. This is not very nice expression. Here it is a polynomial in Z in square. And x and y, they are in coefficients. But all other polynomials in x and y, they are similar. The interesting feature that if you take this uh, polynomial like quadratic and z, as I told you, it is discriminantly splitting, as you see. Uh, if you go to uh, our interpretation uh, of this polynomial uh, in, in the kernel uh, related to addition uh, on, on, on the elliptic curve, it, it works like this. So if we take the uh, this cubic geometrically and take three points, then the uh, projections of these points, they gives you x, y, and z, these roots, you see, this uh, factorized, uh, factorized uh, form of the cubic. And intersection of your cubic, they have another root, t1, t2, and t3. So the uh, addition law interpret uh, in this form, uh, they uh, in, explain in this, in this uh, picture, explain the uh, appearance of uh, Kansevich uh, polynomial uh, in, uh, in, in this uh, uh, interpretation uh, as a kernel uh, for uh, multiplication integral. Now, uh, the first time I asked myself, and uh, we discussed it with Ilya, and then uh, came to Buchstaber, that uh, what's the relation between Buchstaber and Kansevich polynomial? They are both, uh, they looked, I was very much impressed with the paper of Buchstaber and Vysilov, and I, I thought that it should be uh, somehow related to Kansevich. I checked it uh, for some simple cases, and it is really 
are very simply uh, related. So the question, uh, which naturally uh, you can ask, what kind of polynomials and what kind of conditions you should Im impose on the polynomial with three uh, variables such that they uh, uh, define two-value group law uh, using the zero locus of these polynomials. Of course, we suppose that they should be uh, symmetric in X, Y, Z. And then uh, the second question, uh, how to describe the conditions that this polynomial should be discriminantly split, discriminant type. So both are discriminant of some uh, other quadratic polynomials. And finally, uh, what, when we go to the secondary determinant by any variables, uh, when these polynomials are, uh, if uh, uh, they are split with the help of some uh, polynomial f. And it's happened that Buchstaber and Kantsevich polynomials, they, they satisfy to all necessary conditions of this. And it means that there is a, a very natural transformation. And this very natural transformation, of course, it is uh, just a, a, refi a refinement of Buchstaber Veselov theorem for, for this uh, elliptic uh, uh, P function ad addition uh, law uh, linearization. And the theorem is the following. Uh, if we take generalized Kantsevich polynomial with any parameter a, b, c, then it can be uh, written in splitted form like a product of this the, the cubic, which was the initial cubic, uh, which we have used to come. You see this f, it is the same cubic we, we, which we have used uh, uh, for uh, construction of this uh, Kantsevich polynomial. And then, to get Buchstaber polynomial, we just need to make uh, the following uh, up to up to sign. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure that all signs here are uh, proper. It, we, we, we just may, make help. Probably we had some small uh, uh, problem with sign, but uh, it, it, if you replace a1 by minus a, a2 by b, a3 by minus c, then uh, Kantsevich polynomial taken in the minus x over uh, 1 over x, 1 over y, 1 over z, avec this, uh, to, together with this uh, uh, product, it, it is a just a common denominator, it gives you Buchstaber polynomial uh, in the corresponding parameters a, b, and c with minus in front of a and in front of c. But it's up to minus, I'm not sure. And it means that also you can uh, write Buchstaber polynomial in, in similar form. It, you, you can find generalized um, um, cubic with uh, uh, some coefficients in, in, in front of uh, z square. But also it means uh, in, in, the, in the framework of formal groups, it, it, me it means that uh, you take in this transformation, you, uh, you have the changing of uh, identity or zero in, in this uh, uh, formal group. So both polynomials defined uh, formal groups, but identity uh, 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 under this transformation moved from infinity to zero and vice versa. That's uh, the, uh, the point. And also the, con the theorem which we have uh, verified that uh, all symmetric polynomials uh, uh, degree two in X, Y, Z uh, and discriminantly splitting type, uh, which satisfy to formal group uh, property. And this property uh, means that if you take zero one of these polynomials and you have uh, uh, exact square, this is a crit criteria of Bisilov and Buchstaber, then uh, they're all uh, coincide with the uh, uh, buchstaber kantsevich type polynomials which we have. Uh, I think I should thank you for your uh, attention and for your time. So uh, I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, probably... Valody, it's my, my role to thank you for this uh, beautiful and interesting talk. 
So if, mm -hmm. if 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 you if you want, you can ask any question about uh, the story which I didn't tell you. The story which I didn't tell you is maybe even uh, even much more interesting. <laughs> it's always like this. Yes. <laughs> Володя, I will, I will be pleasant to you if you send me uh, the slides. Of course. Because uh, it was, uh, however, of course, of course. as a material. Of course. But uh, I, I, I get the principal line, so <clears throat> I'm really impressed by the by this result. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we 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 should stop here. <clears throat>